Hello guys, this is uh, Pike the Retro Gamer. I've um, today I'm going to take a look at one of um, accessory I purchased for my um, my desktop PC. You know, I was looking for to expand my USB ports, and I found this on uh, Amazon, and it looked pretty good to me. Five ports. It's a PCIe to USB 3.0 five port PCI Express expansion card. Uh, it has a bunch of connectors, so I'm going to take a look at this right now and uh, see if it's good or not. Alright, so here it is. It came on this little box. It says, look, take a look. Maybe you guys can pause this. It's the Mylia PCIe to USB 3.0. So um, it's probably a Chinese uh, company, but it looked pretty cool in the picture. It was black. I like the black, you know, five ports. You know, it's exactly what I needed. So let's take a look at this. All right, it comes with uh, cables. There's a connector cable here. It looks like it probably goes on the, the board. There's static. SATA cables, a power cable, and uh, I have this have this Molex connector. So let me take a look. This is the board. Here it is. It's the five port USB PCIe to USB 3.0. Take a look at the board. Looks pretty nice to me. It has the the PCI PCIe PCI Express connector here for the motherboard, and also has these connectors here. This seems to be USB. Probably can expand the the, the USB 3.0 uh, port you already have on your motherboard, and this seems to connect to this. Uh, let me see. Okay, so th these two seem to connect. But we're gonna test this. I'm gonna put this inside my computer. And I will see how it looks like. Look, it comes with a little driver disc. It's a tiny little disc. It's, I haven't seen one of those in quite some time. No manual. As with all the Chinese stuff that uh, you can buy on Amazon for cheap. And this, this was, was pretty cheap. Uh, $26.99. Not bad. Not a bad deal. So, I'm going to put it on my computer. Let's see how it looks like. All right, before I go on, I decided to, before I disconnect my computer and open it up, I decided to uh, take a look at the little CD that comes in the package, and because uh, there was no manual, so I figured maybe the manual is in a PDF file, and uh, boy, I was right, you know, here it is, there's a Linux driver, a Windows driver, and the manual in a doc format, and PDF format. Uh, setup file so here it is telling me exactly what I need to do to have this thing working on my computer so alright let's read this on and uh, put it to work alright so here's my computer it's already open uh, as you can see my motherboard I don't have a um, pretty, pretty awesome motherboard it's just a standard um, ASUS. It's a P8861ME. It's um, I bought it like two, three years ago, and uh, I used to have a Core i3 here, second generation, and uh, recently I replaced by uh, Core i5. So I can put it a little bit, a little bit um, faster now. But uh, my video card is a GT520. It's no, it's not. Uh, it's not an amazing computer, but it's my main working computer, and I'm expanding it. So this, I'm gonna put this one here. As you can see, I only have the regular USB 2.0 ports here. I have six in the back, and I have. here on the front a little bit dark I don't think you can see 
and look I have two in the front here they all work pretty well but I run most of my stuff from external hard drives they're all USB 3.0 this motherboard does not come with a 3.0 port so I decided to buy this one this little thing from Amazon so let's put it in and see how it looks like alright so uh, I already took out the, the thing so I, I'll have to remove one of those port covers so let's see here which one is going to be um, let me try to move this a little bit closer yeah you see it has a PCI PCIe 2.0 port uh, slot it fits a US PCIe 2.0 slot my slots here are 3.0 so I think it should be fine so let's see this one I'll take out this one here one thing I don't like about these is that when you remove them they're gone see pick it out let's put the card in all right fits perfectly look here's the card in there fits nicely I kinda like this black color it's a matte black in here alright it's firmly secured in place um, one, one thing I saw in the manual it comes with these cables you see this one here it has a connector here let me try to focus here a little bit and uh, it's just SATA connectors power connectors and this one here on the package comes with two SATA connectors here and uh, this small X one here alright so this, these you gotta pick one of these they are designed to give extra power to this card so I apologize for the lightning again but um, you're going to connect here this one here we connect the SATA cable in here there you go connected and then we connect the SATA power cable here and we give extra power to this little board all right turns out I actually do not have an extra SATA connector on my power supply so I'm gonna be using this one I'm gonna be using this one connects here to the power supply there you go and then these other SATA end goes in here there you go okay look see connects to the power supply all right okay <clears throat> everything seems connected let's uh, let's power this thing up and see if it works alright the computer boot up normally uh, it seems we didn't have any errors when it was booting up so it seems to me that probably installed fine but um, actually not installed it actually uh, any no, it didn't have any conflicts that's what I mean alright so I haven't installed the drivers yet but uh, I've heard people on forums saying that uh, these, this card would uh, be detected automatically by Windows 7 and up. So I have Windows 7 here, so I hope it did detect it prop, uh, properly my cards. Uh, but let's see. Let's, uh, let's plug in my, uh, my two external USB 3.0 um, hard drives and see if they're going to detect properly, all right? So let's, all right, let's, let's plug in these uh, drives. 
Let's see if they detect. First one up. All right, didn't do anything. <laughs> I guess I have to install the drivers then. So let's let's see. All right, it is installing. All right, let me let me grab the camera here. All right, it's installing right now. It's installed. Okay. Accept the terms. Let's do it. Let's install this thing. It says my device is ready to use right here. There you go. All right, detected my hard drive immediately. There you go. Let's see the other drive it detects automatically. Connected. There you go. It worked. All right. All right. It works fine. Pretty good. Uh, pretty good deal. Twenty-six dollars. I'm sorry, the package sucks. It's just a brown little box, but it is the Melia PCIe to USB 3.0. Blah blah blah. You know. Uh, expansion card works pretty fine I'm gonna connect my all my 3.0 external hard drives now on this and I'm gonna have a lot of space and my other USB ports gonna be free for you know the smaller stuff alright guys so that's it for this video there's a link below for the you can buy this on Amazon right now you know pretty good deal $26.99 the day I bought it you know this past week so Make sure you comment and subscribe, and uh, we have a lot more of these uh, coming up, all right? Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.